What is going on YouTube? This is Vice speaking and welcome back to part 6 of the Dragon Quest 3 playthrough. In the last episode, guys, it's actually been quite a bit since I recorded episode 5. Um, I recorded in a big chunk, I just did this huge session and it was actually uh, really efficient. I didn't like that, so I'm probably going to do that more in the future. But that is also why I didn't apologize after episode 1 for taking that break. Um, I was very sick and I also had a very busy weekend. But we are back, of course. I'm saying we're back, but by this point things will just seem normal because episode 5 and 4 and 3 and 2 all came out, you know, consecutively. Anyways, we have some updates, of course. It's the first I've been grinding update of the series. Um, our levels are 8, 10, 9, and 9. And in fact, on top of that, we do have some new spells to show off. So Vice learned Zoom. Zoom is one of the best spells in Dragon Quest history. It basically has the effect of a Chimera Wing. So you can cast this spell and zoom to any uh, town that you've been to previously. Really, really awesome. On top of that, Betty learned Evac, which is a spell that you can use to immediately go to the um, entrance of a cave or a tower if you're inside it. It takes out that, you know, backtracking to get to the beginning. So very, very useful. And, no, I thought Margaret learned, I think she does have a new spell. Does she? Is it Accelerator? No, she already had that. I guess she doesn't. Um, but, you may have noticed, we do have some personality updates. Now let me grab my phone because I actually put this in my notes. Um, the ones that changed are Vice, the hero, Betty, and Margaret. Now Vice is now a plugger, which is actually because he has this Restless Heart equipped. I had no idea that this changes his personality, but I actually decided not to change it back because Plugger is a decent personality. It, um, it gives him good strength and resilience, so I'll take that. Marcella is a daredevil, and I'll just go over this now. That makes her, um, when she levels up, she gets good agility and resilience. Betty, being a genius, this is an awesome one. She gets really good agility and amazing wisdom. So her spells are going to be um, packing a punch. And last but not least, Margaret is now a slippery devil, um, which gives her good agility and resilience as well. So... I, um, I just decided that during this break I would look into what all the personalities did and um, I realized that Betty's being a narcissist was really not good, um, Margaret, she's, hers could have been better, and Vice's wasn't bad, but I'll take the plugger. Um, so now we're doing really good for ourselves. In this episode, I'm meeting you in this town. You might be wondering why are we in a different place than when episode 5 ended. Well, it's because I was looking around and I didn't even think to check this. But at nighttime, the guy who owns this shop is sleeping, so you can actually come in here and open these chests. Now, I don't know if there's anything in them, but a poison needle, that seems really cool. And an oaken club, which is not great, honestly, but let's see what that poison needle does. So, of course, it's a weapon. Now, let's see who can equip it. Uh, please tell me somebody. Ah, okay, Betty can, but it's actually not that great. But I think this is the weapon that one of the... I think the old dude in the center of town talked about, where it has a chance to one-hit KO an enemy. That is really good. Um, I just don't think I'll be using it because it has such a low attack power. Um, also, if you come back through the um, back entrance of this house, you remember this kid said, come back in the evening, his parents are here, something about that. I decided to come back and his parents actually are here. I don't know what they say, I just wanted to... Um, cover this on camera while I was recording. So let's see. The rumors of drinkers say that in forest to west from village are dwelling hidden fairies. Such fantasy. Okay, so... In the forest to the west of the village there are hidden fairies. Interesting. Eek, please, to be leaving hastily, my husband will see. Will see what? Oh, apologies, I fear I spoke loosely in my sleep. Uh, you got some explaining to do. What the heck are you... Is there some shady business going on in this house? Ah, you guys are... You guys are something. Okay, that's all the updates I have for this town. At this point, we can leave. Pretty confident that we've uh, covered everything we can do here. And, in fact, actually, I am gonna... Use this, um, this inn. Because after all that grinding, our stats are pretty low. So, we can spend some coin, some gold. Get our stats back up and get ready to explore once more. And in fact, I actually don't have to explore because I can now zoom 
And you can see this new town, Norvik. I believe that was the town where all the people were just sitting still. Very confusing to me. I have no idea what's going on in that town. But because I'm sitting on all this gold, I am going to see if I can use it on a couple of new pieces of equipment. And uh, let's see here. Um, I do like to prioritize defense. And these shields are really good. But I do know that Vice and Marcella's attack power could be much higher. And they probably should be too. Now we could get a steel broadsword, but that would take literally all of our money. And I don't know. I don't know. Um, ooh, you know what? Maybe we can do that hand-me-down system that we did in Dragon Quest 2, where we would give Vice something, and um, once we bought an item that was better than what Vice had, we gave Vice's old item to the prince. Um, we can maybe do that in this game too. So, with that said, I think I'll buy a steel broadsword for Marcella. Um, her attack would be... Uh, do I though? Do I really want to? Because our defense, our defense is not that great overall, if we're being 100% honest. Ah, uh, this is a tough one. Oh, but it would be so good for Margaret. Look how high that, yeah, I, th I feel like I have to. I have to get it for Margaret. It's just such a huge boost for her defense. Okay, so that's good. Now, I'm, we can get an Iron Lance. And I might get that for Marcella. We could get another uh, scale shield. Actually, no. No, I am going to get it for Marcella. Er, yeah, yeah, yeah. She has a bronze shield. I might see if somebody else can carry that one. Man, we're six minutes and we've been in the same dang town. This episode needs to get a move on. Um, let's see if anybody else can make use of this. No. No. And he has it equipped. So, I'd say that was pretty good. Um, we got rid of all that gold that we were sitting on. And now I'm going to... Actually, no. No, follow me. We'll check our map here. And what do I want to do? So, I think I'm going to go investigate this town, Norvik. With all the... What were they? Sleeping people? Something real shady is going on in this town. And we might have to check whatever's in the west, because I don't like this. Yeah, he's just sleeping. Now she's saying some wuzza fuzza wooza. I don't know what in the world is going on here. But I'm hoping to find some sort of clue. Unless they don't give you anything and you just have to sort of figure out what's going on here. Nope, nothing. Now there is some suspicious poison back here. Which is really strange. I'm gonna check this. It's empty. Um, I can't check the one behind it. That sucks. A seed of strength. Awesome. Um, okay, you already know who that's going on. <laughs> that's an easy Marcella. Increased by three. Beautiful. Now, anything else? They are really giving us no clues. He's sleeping. She also says that was a fuzza wooza whatever. Oh, there's a lot of stuff up here. Nothing. A moonwork bulb, I'll take it. What do you say? That same why are all the females saying was a fuzza wooza? That's kind of freaking me out. Now the males are sleeping. They just keep snoring. Another kill, okay. I don't know what the heck that is, but it sounds pretty cool. Um, is my TV up loud? Nah, it's alright. Sorry, I just had to ch check what my TV was at. This thing seems really good. I mean, this is insane. 37 to 49? Yeah, I'm putting it on Marcella. That's easy. Now, can I put this on anybody else? It wouldn't be good. No, okay. Okay, so I find... There is absolutely nothing in this town, unless I'm missing something. There actually is one more building down here that I didn't see. Whoa, okay, that dude is moving. Grandpa, Grandpapa, yay. This is our only clue. Hopefully he has something for us. 
Oh, I am having no idea who you might be, but you must return the Dreamstone for us to the fairies, yes? If you are not finding and returning it, all the people that you see here will be cursed to sleep forever. The fairies dwell in a small village hidden in the woods by a cave that is west from here. Please, help us. So that's the second time we've heard west. We need to go west as soon as possible and see what the heck the deal is. Alright, let's get a move on. I'm gonna cut battles and show the journey. You know the deal. <laughs> you know the deal, excuse me. <laughs> I thought you could walk in here. Something wasn't right. The last time they tricked me with that uh that random tile, I knew this one was suspicious. Now let's see what's going on here. This girl is quite unique. I haven't seen a person like her. Hello, welcome to the super secret fairy village. Eek, I'm not supposed to speak to humans. My mommy will be really angry if she finds out. Well, I, it sucks to suck. I mean, you already talked to me. Um, nothing this way. This is quite the area. I've never seen anything like this. It is, it's... This is honestly a village of fairies? Is it, you know, you can't zoom to it. This is very strange. Humans, help me! I don't want to be kidnapped! I'm not a bad person. You just need to calm down. I won't speak to the old dude yet. I'm not allowed to sell things to horrible humans. Go away. I am expecting you have been to Norvik and seen the sleeping people, yes? The sleeping is the fault of my son. If he had only not been running away with the princess of the fairies. I came here to make an apology in his place. But no, the queen, she will not even listen to me. Whatever can I do? Uh, I'll speak to her, since she doesn't want to talk to humans. Are you racist or something? What are humans doing in our village? It's supposed to be fairies only. What? Norvik? Oh, that whole thing. I'm sorry to say it, but it's true. My stupid daughter Aniseed fell in love with a human boy. She took one of our special fairy treasures, the Dreamstone, and ran off with him and never came back. He must have tricked her somehow. It's the only explanation. Stupid humans. He probably stole the Dreamstone off her, and now she's too ashamed to come home. Poor thing. Ah, just looking at humans makes me feel sick. Just go away, will you? Alright, you don't gotta disrespect me now. Now, I already know what our job is. I'm finding these children, and I'm getting the stone back. And, <laughs> I don't know if you're blind or not, but there's a cave right there. I say we go ahead on in. Now, this is real creepy. Betty has low HP. I don't like how low it is. A chest in here. Ooh, good gold. I'll take it. Go this way. Oh my goodness. The enemies in this place are no joke. I don't know if we're under-leveled. I really did not think we were, but... I mean, these enemies are handing it to me. This is ridiculous. Okay, there's something that way. I think we'll go this way first. Somewhere in this cave is a spring blessed by the Most Holy with the power to restore physical and mental well-being. But why would she hide such a miraculous gift in so dismal a place as this? Do you hear the voices of lamentation that echo through these chambers? Ugh, a truer test of faith I cannot imagine. Well, can- is this a spring? Because I could use some healing. Yeah, whatever. I don't know what that dude's doing down here, but... You do you. A vial of holy water. I believe, if I'm correct, holy water makes it so that weaker enemies will stay away from you. I think that's what it does. Not positive, but... This place is intense, man. The enemies. Goodness. Hmm. Well, we can go west or we can go down. This is interesting. I think I'll go west first. Okay, well, we also go down this way. This is interesting. East or west? 
I always go west first. Oh, okay. This is quite the cave, honestly. Okay, where does this path lead? Chest. Let's see what we got. A seed of strength. Awesome. And I am just putting all of them on Marcella, but I mean, that's what she's for, you know? She's just the, the tank that deals damage. There's nothing more you can say. Go over this way and another chest. I'm glad I came up here. I'm telling you right now, I do not think I'm gonna make it out of this battle. Because I guarantee you, if we flee, they're not gonna let us run. But I cannot, like, battle head on a group like this. The morphine mushrooms are, they have low HP, but they're just so annoying. They send your party members to sleep every single turn. Um, the Vlads can cast crack, and it's just the most powerful spell. I am, I don't know what to do right here. This is a really tough one. Ah, uh, there's just so many of them. If there weren't so many enemies on the screen right now, I think I'm gonna go for it. I'm not gonna try to run. Oh, here we go. Here we go. No, I should have fled. I should have fled. This is crazy. Let me block the way anyways. Hey, this is Dragon Quest for you. This is the type of stuff that happens. I guarantee you they're gonna block the way again. Yep. We're still alive somehow. Well, there's one more. And there you go. Well, <laughs> this is a first. Uh, we get to see what happens when your party is wiped. Um, now, I'm sure you know the drill by now. You get all your gold cut in half. It's no, it's never fun. But hey, this just tells you like the, the where we are at right now. Like. I think we're under level. I genuinely think we're supposed to be higher in the levels. Um, so I'm going to end it off here and call this an episode. In the next episode, I plan on starting at that cave, um, specifically where we fell in battle. So if you guys did enjoy, you can always like. If you did not, you can dislike and tell me what I can do to improve in the comments. With all of that said, I'll see you guys in the next episode. This has been Vice. And yeah, I'm gonna let that outro do its thing. I'll see you guys. I'm out of here.